Hey guys, welcome back to my vloggy. I decided to vlog today because I'm going on campus and I just have a lot of things to do, so that would be fun to vlog it for y'all. I mainly have meeting for my assembly and then I have a meeting with a career counselor to see what the freak I'm gonna do post-grad. And then I have class for my master's program. So that's what my day is looking like. So just come, come join me, come accompany me, okay. I'm at a red light, guys, it's okay. I'm sorry it's so shaky, but South Central is like, they, we have the worst roads in downtown LA. Anyways, I've been loving my little commute to campus. It's like 30 minutes away, because I don't drive on the freeway, but even if I did, like it would have been the same with the amount of traffic. Like sometimes it's even faster if I just go through the street than traffic because I like traffic is just horrible. But I've been loving my little commute. I like romanticize it, play my little curated playlist and just jam out. I don't know, it's very therapeutic for me. I can just sing in the car and like nobody's here to say like you sing horribly. There's a lot of like music album releases these past few months and they all been great, but Standouts definitely Billy, but I don't I can't listen to it all the time Like if I'm trying to have a good day I won't listen to it because that shit puts me in a fucking depressing ass mood But Claro's new album been on repeat. It's just it's so good My standouts are out of my love Here for obviously sexy to someone and then Juna Juna is so cute and like Ah, it's just so feminine, so like the jazzy tune is oh, it's just so good. I fucking love it. With you, there's you know ah, to be loved is to be known. You make me wanna go dancing, you make me wanna sip on the new dress. Song of the summer, may I say? Like the second I heard the song, I was like, yup. Omar's new album's also really good. I'd be better off alone. I'm too worried. Are you close? Let me go. Let me go. Got like better bitches. I'm so done with you, done with you, done with you, done with you, done We made it to USA. My sweetheart, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because it's already 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten. Well, I ate breakfast, but now I'm hungry again. So we're gonna go find some snacks or some lunch. We're gonna see what we can buy. I just got a tuna salad wrap and then a nectarine. I've been loving nectarines, like literally addicted to them. They're so good. We still got TSA on campus. I think that's just gonna stay forever at USC, to be honest. first meeting I have is virtual RA training, it's from 2 to 4, so we're just going over protocols, what to expect, engaging with residents and whatnot, so it's on Zoom, so it's just what we're doing. I should not be shining. It's lunchtime. It tastes as, I've never tried these specifically, so let's see if I can go. I rate these an 8 out of 10. I usually get the chicken ones and I feel like those are more filling, just because they also has like pesto and everything, so. 404. I just got out of my RA training. I just needed a change of scenery, so I came outside. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I have like 30 minutes before my next meeting, so I've just been editing videos. And I like found old SD cards that had videos with my residents in them, and I'm just like, I miss them so much. Like I'm excited for my new residents, but I feel like my first residents were. I don't know, they're so funny and they would like always just take my camera and vlog around like whatever was happening. They're just funny and natural entertainers, so. <laughs> but I'm just like getting very nostalgic, very reminiscent. Just because this is my last year, like it's my senior year and I'm like gonna try my hardest to like vlog and like post consistently. Oh, okay, <laughs> I need to yeah, finish editing. about how awkward 
awkward it is to get your camera. I figured like, wow, vlogging. So for my meeting with my career advisor, I'm like low-key very stressed. I have an idea what I want to do post-grad, but I don't want to limit myself. I'm passionate about various things, so I still want to give myself the time to like explore different aspects. I like definitely want to do something entertainment. I like digital marketing, regular marketing, like marketing for film sounds fun, doing advertising, or like starting my own business, right? I, but I also like working with students, so I feel like that's another avenue that I could go into like academia and like do research and like become a professor but that, that seems like way further down in my life but i scheduled an appointment with a career advisor for my graduate school so hopefully that helps guide me and like what i could do in the next year because the unemployment rate right now is so bad and it's something that i'm very scared about just because of my status and like not being able to legally work in the united states and like trying to understand what my options are and what they look like i feel like a lot of first generation students just feel we don't know what is out there. My future careers, I'm probably not even aware of that role. So I think just exposing myself to different opportunities and like having a very open mind is the best thing I could do for myself. Keep networking with people because you never know who you're gonna meet that could get your foot in the door. Take advantage of your career center. This is my way of like getting outside of my comfort zone because I tend to not want to ask people for help I'm always like no I got it like I could do research I could google it but they're there for a reason like that's their job you're not being a burden to them which I always felt like oh I'm asking stupid questions or like this and this and that but it's taking the self-awareness and knowing that it's okay for me not to know everything especially being a first-generation student like I don't know what I'm doing half of the time like I'm just trying my best it's a lot of like recognizing that I don't know everything and I won't always know everything and it's okay to ask for help and that's only gonna make me grow as a person so this is your sign to go ask for help <laughs> most of the time that I have asked for help they appreciate and are 110 percent willing to help I just need to think of that mindset because I've been on the opposite end with like being an RA and like having residents that were afraid to ask for help but I'm like I use me <laughs> as a resource please like I'm here to help so I've been on the other opposite end and it, is, it does feel rewarding and it makes your job like more fulfilling so I'm like changing my mindset like that's their job like they're literally getting paid to help so go ask for help. Just got done meeting with my career advisor and he was very very sweet very knowledgeable in what he's doing and gave me. I might go into the nonprofit world we'll see but I do want to do something within like educational inequity um, down the line and he actually works for a nonprofit so I was asking him questions about that and it's like definitely something I'm interested in but it went well um, meanwhile I was also exporting one of my new YouTube videos so y'all should go watch that but I wanted to show you guys behind the scenes on uploading so I'm gonna just add the thumbnail with y'all most of my thumbnails I use like Canva for that's the thumbnail and then gotta go through all of the checks. There's no issues found. Then when publishing, I just go to public. We're gonna publish it. And she's published. Go watch the new video. Now I just have my last meeting for my student assembly that I'm a part of. I became the co-executive director. This recent year we were, were known as Ideas at USC, which is an undocumented student club. And we're in the works of transitioning to a student assembly under the undergraduate student government. So we just get more funding, more resources, and it's a lot more work, especially being co-executive director. So I'm going to have a meeting with the other co-executive director and our assistant director, just making sure we have everything ready before school starts and we have our meetings and events and everything. We're just really focusing on making USC a safe space for undocumented students because most UCs and some privates have like a dream center for undocumented students or at least like someone who's very knowledgeable on resources for undocumented students and unfortunately USC does not. As students we have to step up and try our best to not only form community but also share resources and it's been a learning experience and it literally feels like we can start a business at this point because we're doing outreach and doing so much things at once. I don't know how we were able to manage it but we're just girl bosses at this point. It's scary but exciting learning to manage things and people and like a lot of organization and it's really putting all my business skills to to test 
I'm just waiting for people to join. You guys want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Hello. This is our co-executive director, Alexa, and Melissa, our assistant director. We love immigrants. Ooh, immigrant. Period. Period. <laughs> Got out of class, it's 9 p.m. I'm so tired, but I get to go home now. Back in the car, I am exhausted. I just want to say that, like, my days are not usually this packed. I just stacked all meetings in one day because I was like, I'll just go on campus and do everything in one day. With that being said, I'm so excited to go home. There's no better feeling than like knocking out once you get home once my head hits the win the window what the hell once my head hits the pillow it's like i'm good so when you have classes like three times a week other days i'm bed rotting so it's all about balance guys all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you in the next one take care